Hey, this is Rob with Road Dirt, and I have a question for you. How frequently do you check your tire pressure? Well, if you're like most of us and uh, most Americans, whether they're motorcycle riders uh, or automotive drivers, over the road truckers, things like that, um, most people don't check their, uh, uh, their personal vehicle's tires, the pressure, as often as they should. Uh, I know uh, in, in my own life, I have to actually set an alert in my phone to remind me to check the tire pressure in not only my bikes but uh, in my pickup truck and, and my wife's vehicles and things like that on a monthly basis or I won't remember to do it. Um, but it's very important because um, if you keep proper tire pressure you actually uh, extend the life of the tire um, as far as its wear and unevenness and things like that you can spare yourself a lot of that by just Simply check in your tire pressure on a regular basis. Well, how do you do that? You all, the older you get, like me, you got to set an alert, you got to set an alarm, you got to set a reminder somehow, or you could actually install a tire pressure and temperature monitoring system. Which um, there are there are some bikes that have those. Uh, I, I think of Goldwing, some of the larger BMW, more expensive tourists. I think it's an option. Um, on a number of the uh, uh, tri of the some of the higher end triumphs and and the Harley Davidsons and the Indians are some of them that you can get that on. The majority of motorcycles, though, um, that really hasn't been an option until now. And uh, we actually ha have partnered with uh, RV Products for You. That's RV Products for You with the tire pressure monitoring system that we're going to promote a little bit. We're going to install it. I'm going to install one right here on my Triumph. We've got one right back here. We're going to, um, we're going to install on it. And my colleague with Road Dirt, Phil Gauthier, has got a uh, Harley Davidson Street Glide. He's going to install one on his. And uh, they actually make them for motorcycles and they make a trike kit also. And we're going to uh, give these a test, install them. They're fairly easy to install, it would appear. And, uh, and then road test them in some future articles and videos as to how well they hold up and, and how accurate they are. The one we've got actually that RVProductsForYou.com sells is, is a proprietary one, one that they had built for, for their specifications that includes not only uh, you can set tire pressure to, um, you know, to alert you if it's above it or below it, um, but they've also got, uh, it also shows internal tire temperature as well which uh, some folks, especially folks that do track days and things like that, and really long distance riders also um, might benefit from uh, having that information as well. So we're going to get started, see how easy this thing is to install. Now when you buy one of these, the kit that you get actually comes with uh, uh, several mounting systems, several uh, ways you can get it mounted on your bike. This one is for a bike, obviously, a, a, a two-wheeler, but you've got a um, a handlebar mount that you can use. This is the different kind of mount you can use on a handlebar to secure it down with and, and attach some of these other pieces to it. Um, or it can also be installed GoPro style um, on a tank or other places you might want to install. I've also heard um, some people have taken these and installed them um, in a hard saddle bag and uh, that works as well. And it comes with the monitor which will, um, will actually sync with the two uh, front and rear um, little sensors that you install um, actually on your on your uh, on your valve stem these t these pieces right up here are actually tools you can use to change the batteries in these you actually screw one onto the back and one onto the front and apparently these things pop right apart and then you can get the battery out and um, any hardware store or really any any store that carries batteries will carry the type of battery for it uh, they supply you with a tool a charging port and um, Good to go. And some simple instructions step by step to follow. So let's get started. Now, I've actually already preset um, the pressure in both of my tires on this Triumph Street Cup 2017. Calls for uh, 32 in the front, 36 in the back. And I want to go ahead and just set that accurately ahead of time so that when we put the mounting, the, the tire pressure mounting system in, uh, see how accurate it is. So we'll double check just to be sure. Yep, right on the money. So I've opted to mount mine with the uh, handlebar mount and uh, 
uh, makes it easy to easy to remove, to move to different locations, take it off, and things like that when I need to. Um, it's waterproof, so you can leave it on if you're going through rain and things like that. I've got it off right now, and I'm, I'm charging it. So um, we're going to go ahead and, and go with this mount. Like I say, they give you a kit for actually mounting it several different ways. I think my friend Phil is actually going to mount his inside uh, his one of his saddlebags on his uh, street glide. So we'll get that mounted in right there. Snugged up good. Comes with a, a little rubber spacer in there so you're not screwing it and grinding up your your handlebar or anything. And this is a fully adjustable right here, so you can pivot it around, make it fit any way you need. That's fairly straightforward. So the unit, pretty simply, just screws right in like this. And then you can adjust it your needs. Snug it up. There you go. So right now it's flashing because it's searching for the sensors. Uh, what it'll do, it'll show um, over on the left side, it'll show tire pressure front and rear, and on the right side it'll show ambient temperature um, in both of those front and rear. So cool feature. Let's get those installed. Have a look at that. Okay, apparently what we do here, we screw a little, a little lock nut on there first, and this one is for the rear. You slide it on, snug it up good, and then pull the outer nut back to it and tighten it up. They got, they've got a little wrench you can also, a little mini wrench you can actually snug it up in the back. So we'll snug that up shortly. And the rear is mounted. And here we go with the front. Get my fingers on that one. Go. Run that all the way on there. Lock back up to it. I think we're done. And now, as you can tell, it's reading correctly. Got 32 showing in the front, 35 psi in the rear, ambient temperature in the front because it's in my garage right now is 60 interior and 64 in the rear. And it cut it times out after a little while, so it's not on constantly you know, um, aggravating it, but you can tap the top button. It's got a plus button and a minus button down here. Uh, it's a little bit of a process. You go in and you set your parameters, whether you want to use PSI or bar, uh, whether you want to use um, Fahrenheit or, or, uh, or Celsius, and you can set all that internally. And uh, the directions took me through the process. It was a little confusing in a couple of places, but uh, I figured it out. And it's fully charged and uh, ready to go. So. That's a good reading, right on it pretty much. All right, so that's the tire pressure monitoring system, the TPMS system for motorcycles that's been developed and is being sold by RV Products For You. That's RV Products, the number four, Y-O-U.com, RV Products For You.com. They've got it in, in, uh, in, a, in a motorcycle, they've got it in a trike, and I think they're on sale right now. I think they're like half off. They're like, um, I think for this one, it's like $79.99, uh, basically 80 bucks and then um, shipping and tax. So uh, it's pretty competitive It's a and it's a good unit. I'm, I'm pleased with it. Look forward to riding with it. We'll give another evaluation soon, uh, just over time riding with it and uh, 
you know, out on the road after about a month or two of having it on there, how it continues to work for us. But right now, uh, it's a fairly straightforward, easy install, and the display is up and running, and it times out after a little bit, so it's not always in your face. Um, but it's also set to, uh, you can set the parameters, I failed to mention this, you can set the parameters for giving you an alert when it's too high or giving you an alert when it's too low. So, uh, good unit. Look forward to um, giving more updates on it, so stay tuned. And go check yours out at rvproducts4u.com. It's Rob with Road Dirt, right now, signing off.